Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your mid-September 2019 general reading. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Libra who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you to those who already do so. Um, take advantage of some of the specials uh, there at the website. Click the website, look around. We have phone readings, video recorded readings, Skype readings. Um, there's also audio readings. And the situation, advice, and outcome reading that comes to you via email. Okay? All right. So, Libra, I'm shuffling. What comes up, pops out, is the High Priestess. All right. Some of you either... You need to seek some really good feminine advice or you give really good feminine advice. Like, I guess I'm speaking to my Libra women. Um, you're a really good guide in regards to feminine issues and advice and how to advise um, in regards of connection, uh, partnership, maybe relationship maybe even money and routine and work ethic you may be you may have some hidden talents or some talents that maybe you have kind of pushed down you've suppressed them they want to come out There's something you do well or you did well you put it down and Press it down and they they want to resurface there's something there for you maybe some creative outlet you you know a lot about the universe and spiritual matters and, and revelatory information about you you know some of the secrets of the universe a conversation with you can can get can go deep um, there's also some plans, some secret plans you have in the making, in the works. Yeah, something good, you're good with trying to, uh, not even trying, but helping cultivate and grow, shape, give good advice, feminine advice uh, about life cycles and phases. Okay. All right. So, what's the general message for Libra for the mid for mid September, mid September, twenty nineteen, mid September, twenty nineteen general. All right. What well, popped out? The Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands upright. Uh. So we have things moving fast, back and forth. There may be distance between you and something or someone else. You could be moving fast, literally moving, up, uprooting yourself, moving and doing it quickly, or things around you are just moving fast. Lots of communication, lots of movement. I just see a lot of movement and a lot of responding to this and responding to that, a lot of email, a lot of correspondence, a lot of, um, yeah, rapid correspondence back and forth, in and out. Um, let's see. The communication could be in neutral business and matter. Uh, it could be about, you know, um, inheritance, lawsuits, investments, loans, large sums of money, another person's money, mysterious behavior or or the mystery surrounding yeah, this is other people's money you could be communicating about that in regards to that you could be uh, talking to someone about trouble and jealousy in a particular relationship or someone's doing that about you or in regards to you 
you could also this could be loving communication back and forth let's see what's going on here yeah judgment could be could be gossip could be it doesn't have to be it could be that the the libra is moving quickly in regards to moving something forward progressing something growing something this is the communication uh phase of it this is the need for the the libra to have strength in regards to pushing something forward moving something forward uh the past is over live right now in the present also this might it might be opportunity for you to change some something about your lifestyle i don't know um the universe is bringing something back around for you king of swords this could be uh, you dealing with an Aquarius you could be talking to or Libra like yourself tip this I you know in my experience the king of swords rarely um, shows up as a Gemini unless we're talking about a, a, a older midlife 50 something and above Gemini um, man and it normally comes up would be a Gemini man Every time I get Gemini woman, it's the Queen of Wands, it's the Queen of Swords. So, so some of you, anyway, could be dealing with Aquarius or Libra, like yourself, or we're talking about an older Gemini, but rarely is this Gemini. Um, some of you could be talking to a lawyer someone who does some skill work they got some skill about themselves very professional diplomatic uh j they're very just and fair that's why they would be in that profession some of you are talking about that large money sums and assets and investments uh This lawyer may be helping you come to some agreement. Does this sit right with you is what I'm hearing? Like someone is saying that, or maybe someone offers you something and they ask you that, does it, does it sit right with you? Pray, meditate before you make some really big decision in regards to your foundation, your home, your children, some motherly energy here uh about roots or uprooting one more card for general uh the emperor yeah pray about before you make some decision in regards to business in regards to an older gentleman in your life or a husband figure um aries taurus it could be anyone but someone who is well established who is uh, could be a business owner is or is over um, a number of people is is over uh, an establishment this is a person who has built up business they have either they have several business or several small business or a big business they make really sound decision um, if they're not older, then they are um, very mature. Make a, they could be sick or some sickness. You're talking about wills, money, loan. That's the general energy, honey. And then the big money card, the four of pentacles. Uh, you could be, once again, talking about large money sums. This is making business deals and transactions and making really good business deals and transactions trying to maintain or to acquire a certain status or level in life uh in your home in in a neighborhood i'm hearing okay so that's the general energy for my libras let's go into what everybody wants love love Loving relationships, right? What we're really here for. And it seems like you're in the talks. 
in the and it talks about money and um, what it looks like what the settlement will be what you'll accept what you expect um, even some of you even making afterlife plans um, you know burial death all of that beneficiary type situation uh, some of you are making plans for grandchildren great grandchildren you want them to have a firm footing you don't know what that's about um, okay or just children I'm just trying to make some really solid plans okay so Libra how does your person view you you also could be moving talking about the move Trying to make plans for the future. Plans in regards to your business. Okay. Libra. How does your person view you? The seven of herbs. You're at a standstill. You're making plans in regards to marriage, relationship, contracts, agreements. How you're coming off. How you deal with the tangible of life is evaluation, reevaluation. Um, stopping, looking at, analyzing before you move. This is how you maintain control of. The sevens are about control, about the chariot, about moving forward. But before I can move forward, I need to evaluate where I'm going. Will this lead me to the ten of earth, the ten of pentacle? Should I have already been there? What is going on here? Do I need to prune, cut away? Uh, is there access? Is there lack? so many different things that goes into the seven of earth just trying to definitely plant your seeds and like i said it's a it's a pause here because of um evaluation this card says unnecessary worry it could be very well that it is unnecessary worry or and i think it is because when you're in a seven of pentacles you're pretty much on a good footing um, th there could be good news coming in for you. You've planted your seeds really well. I just think a lot of us get the human thing. We get so bogged down in it not happening as quickly as we think it should happen. So that's when we get that unnecessary worry creeps in. But your partner or whomever you're coming to the reading for is seeing you as the seven of pentacles having planted your seeds well. Um, you're on sure footing you're on your way uh, good news could be coming to you money news and then the queen of earth they see you as thoughtful you make really good monetary tangible um decision you give good advice good practical advice about um they, they see that you're making time for others around you um, you're dealing with any challenges very gracefully and you're very understanding it's all about for you Libra what do we do to rectify okay so they're seeing you as 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 that person you um, they, they they understand that you can get rowdy, but it's almost as if you have so many different facets of yourself. Ace of Water, they're seeing you as starting something anew. Um, as being filled with spirit so that it radiates from you. As if the, the connection between earth and spirit, you move that veil so very easily that maybe some new start in uh, a relationship and a friendship um, it brings you a lot of fulfillment they see you as falling in love with you could have or new home like I said some of you are moving spiritual growth you know your intuition is enhanced hence the high priestess coming out for us at the beginning of the reading 
some of you are very aware very intuitive very in tune very inclined uh, nothing passes you nothing gets by you you may put on as if it got by you maybe because you didn't want to deal with it whatever it may have been but very rarely very seldom not this Libra things don't really slip by them too easily they see you as eight of water some of you are moving like or, or you're in the spiritual quest this journey maybe you're you're coming into your enlightenment you're coming into your own you're really stepping into a new person a new you nothing can draw you or take you back to where you came from so much life experience has happened to you uh around you with you about you where it can't you you have you're strong enough to know that you're on the right path um once again in regards to spiritual and emotional growth uh yeah this is really good it's like someone's coming in like like you could have been very emotionally immature just downright immature um there was like an immature aspect about you that maybe you repressed and you, and you kind of you know uh waved it off even when people brought it to you and brought it to light um but now you really faced it and, and um you understand that everything is not a not the opportunity to have emotional outbursts night of fire like some of you are moving this is like someone who's moving making really good solid decisions they're doing something really quickly really fast but yeah things that are going to really need your intent your attention someone sees you as passionate you know adventurous sometimes restless um they're seeing you as moving quickly because this card says time is of the essence some of you like i said you could be physically moving quickly you could be proverbially moving moving along in life moving to the next phase um enlightenment spiritual awareness heightened understanding how oh, they right they're viewing libra as three of fire expanding abundance um things looking very very good for you um you making long-term plans having enough patience to know that you've done this much work thus far that uh fulfillment the time the need uh the want to celebrate is coming in because you have really moved and act on on uh, something something really big this could be self-employment some of you are the working moms some of you have own business some of you just started something some of you have really set with the fact that this is where you need to be this is what you need to be doing you can't go back you can't straddle the fence anymore in regards to seven of water some of you could be dealing with cancer Pisces, scorpio you got water cards here and earth and fire so pretty much everybody's here um you have a decision to make and i need you to do some research and stop procrastinating uh the seven cups are fleeting yes there are options here for you but you have you can't get uh paralysis analysis where you just overthink about it and you overthink and then you do nothing and then you look up and you're like where are my options where they're gone because they weren't going to wait for you um you have to once again take action time is of the essence in regards to doing something moving something forward in regards to a move oh, you had options here some of you move or you're moving uh, or you're moving a business something about moving um let's see 
how your person no how you view your person your person sees you as just rapid movement focused going on it progressing expanding uh no cups well there are two cups here they see you more concerned with self and how how you come off to people and emotional growth in regards to self that's how your person sees you it's making them probably very attracted to you um making them very intrigued inclined to to pick your brain in regards to how can they help is what I just heard or where do they fit in okay all right so how do you view your person six of sword you view them as having positive progression in a new uh, on a new path in a new path you see them moving away from turbulence or change um, Ooh, the devil you see them as um maybe you see your person as tied to bound you see them as mentally having peace with maybe a situation that is toxic in nature that is entrap entrapment where they feel enclosed where they feel where there's someone feeling entitled, where there's someone um, doing all the work, where there's codependency, you see them either making peace with it, they're moving towards the devil. <sighs> Let me keep going. Libra, you see your person as, you may even see them conquering fears. Let's see what the other cards have to say. Maybe you, they're trying to be strong in regards to dealing with an aspect of life or their life that was devilish. You see them trying to get over addiction, codependency, um, lower vibrational energy. You could be dealing with an oh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You see them um, doing the cyclical work every single day it, what, is, what is that saying when people are in recovery i think take one step at a time or one day at a time something like that it's like they're that's what they're doing in order to stay strong to stay focused to stay true to their convictions in regards to something you see a person doing that um you see your person uh, very much in love with you offering the cup some of your persons are in situations that don't suit them, that don't fit them, and they're, they're still there. They're still trying to stay, stay strong in that. They feel like if they if they stay committed to their own convictions, then they'll, you know, land them where they want to be. They may be even giving, um, falling in love, giving loving um, gestures to you. You, you may see your person as um, the need to balance out their emotions. It's not your person who's in love with just being in love. You see your, yeah, you see your person is trapped. Eight of swords. They could be in jail also. And, they, and they're trying to um, be strong in that. Or, or you're giving love to them or them to you. Being in love with you helps them get through the day today. But they're enclosed they're bound if not physically bound they feel mentally bound stuck to tied to think negatively about um some type of merger that they have put themselves in the towel you see a person as some unexpected event happens something is found out something is revealed something is comes to light you see them as either needing to bring the tower down you see them in a place where a challenge 
a challenge may rock a project or a relationship, right? But this says that um, they've been here before. And how they deal with this situation is going to have historical value. So they've been here before. They've been... Somebody's been facing addiction. Someone's been in some negative relationship and maybe had someone on the side and or or is trying to get out. They've been here before. They need to deal with that. Um, yeah, you see your person as committed, focused, uh, entrepreneur, a go-getter, attractive, sexy, charismatic, outgoing, charming. definitely committed there could be children here at the bottom of the deck we have six of cups definitely could be children you see your person as a giver as a nurturer you see they may be older than you or vice versa you see them as a good Samaritan all in all amongst everything you see them as having a good heart you see them as useful. You see them as having a sense of usefulness in their life. Whatever they do, like it's really, it makes a big impact. Fill in that blank. Um, you see them as uh, needing to analyze what fits and what doesn't. Analyze relationship, friendship, balance. Because something is off kilter. Something is too far to the left, too far to the right. You see them as needing to make a choice in life. Either the, the their choices have allowed them to be immersed in lower vibrational energy. We'll just say that, right? Okay. Um, Labor at the extended read. We're going to ask the cards. I'm going to ask if your person um, how do they feel about you? Do they love you? Will they make necessary changes for you? Three questions. How do they feel about you? Do they love you? Will they make necessary changes for you? Libra, I'm going to leave you with one angel answer card. I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. Know that to get the extended read, it's only $2.50. Um, if you feel like the reading resonates with you thus far, take advantage of the extended reading. It'll give you a bit more clarity. We're going to ask the three questions so that I remember. Um, how does this person feel about you? Do they love you? Will they make necessary changes for you? Libra. One card of advice. Loving angel advice for the Libra a year from now. We're going to clarify that too because now we have a timeline in regards to. We don't know what it's in regards to. But we do have a timeline a year from now. Alright Libra. See you on the other side. The link is below. Take care guys.